Hello everyone. Uh, when you have a company or you are working for a HR human resource uh, department of any company or organi organization, you know that we need to gather some information and documents from our personnel or employees. So uh, it's very critical that some of uh, documents have to be gathered from employees and we have to check whatever if uh, someone uh, give us already that information to us or not and see what information we need and what is the status of those information and documents. In this Excel file, we introduce a procedure that we can use uh, for gathering information and documents and managing them very well. Uh, since this Excel file is developed based on the macro and VBA, if you open it uh, for the first time, you will see the yellow ribbon here that shows you that uh, the macro is disabled right now. If you want to use this Excel file, you have to enable the content of this macro and VBA. So now you can use it. Okay, uh, this Excel file has two sheets. One is the information that you need to gather from the, your uh, employees and the other one is a database that shows you which person already has the documents and information you needed and how can you manage them and something like that. So uh, at first uh, let's see uh, for each company because uh, we need to gather different uh, information and documents uh, you need to change some of these uh, data in this sheet uh, you can manage the information for each personal as well as the documents that you need to gather uh, for example in my company and in the most companies we need to insert the data about the name of the personal personal IDs each person as an ID, unique ID uh, in each organization. So you need to assign that for each person. And ID number is a unique ID number for each person in each uh, country. Each citizen of the countries has unique ID. So you, these two should be unique for each person. Uh, it should be remembered. After that, uh, the name and the family name, birthday, blood sign, address, cell phone, phone number, visa number, etc. These are the personal information for each employee. And the work information is the organization. And work information, uh, what that person do in your uh, company is he or she has a full-time job, what is his or her position, and what you need to serve us, and something like that. Uh, for example, you need to change some of these. Uh, in my company, we don't have any middle name for each person. We uh, assign father name. So it's something like that. But in most countries, uh, we had the middle name. For example, I want to uh, write the middle name here. I can uh, easily change it. But you should have to remember, you do not, uh, you should not remove any of these uh, fields. For example, you can say, okay, it's empty. And in the database, whenever I want to update this database, it's become empty. Okay. So you can empty it, but you cannot delete it. Okay. Just remember that. Uh, so you can change them. You can clear it, but you cannot remove them. And after that, you can insert the data you need. Uh, here in the documents, you have to write the title of the document you need to get from each person. You can remove them, it's okay. If you remove it, please remove it uh, all. And you can change them, it's okay. For example, medical documents, I need to say copy of medical, medical documents. Or here, visa card. I need copy of visa card, okay? And in my country, they say resume, but in most country, they say CV. 
so these are the documents I gather and I can add it to this uh, row as well for example I need to have what I can have uh, for example I say a1 document a2 or document a3 I need all of them after you are solid what you want from each employee you can go and uh, set update table before that as you can see there is already some data here if you I remove that for you and then uh, if you go there you keep you can see there is no data so this button remove all data if you already have some data uh, please be careful if you push this button all your data will be deleted so before that please get the data back up this uh, I will show you how it's work just simply you can press this button and save all your all your data so here uh, I want to update my table this is the new table uh, I get this excel file for the first time I want to update the table so I have to press this yellow button here after that I can go and see the table is updated and if you want to see yeah there is a a3 a2 that before I didn't have and uh, in the middle uh, name it's column one see I removed the middle name and it's back to the column one so I want to change all of them again uh, please note that for each of this document we will have two columns into my database one for is a note and because if I want to write some notes for each column or each document and one is the status of each documents for example the status is yes I have already this document or no I didn't have it yet and the person uh, told me I will send it via email to you next week for example so this is the status of the each document and this is the description what I have to do for example someone gave me the copy of his visa card and uh, I scan it and upload it to my portal okay so yes I have the copy of visa card for this person and I scan it already so uh, these are that and I just want to remove these columns I want to add this column middle name you can uh, update the table in the middle of uh, having data here okay if you come to see this uh, table you can see there is a middle name added to this database and the a1 a2 and a3 all are deleted and copy of medical document notes and uh, documents are placed into my database so now I can use my Excel I update my table I update my information that I have I want to gather right now I want to insert the first person uh, I will start by personal number I add the name and family name and etc after the data is completed for example this person has the copy visa card CV no CV he will send me next week for example education document I need to see so after I complete the data I just need to submit new data by pressing this green button after that I can see it's done I can go to see into my database all data are, are inserted into this Excel this data table and for example for someone else I need to insert the personal ID for example Arash ABC for example I told you the ID number for each person should be unique so 123 it was for army and uh, for example Arash is 111 their birthday and other data should be added for example here I need to get another data from Arash for example document 2 to uh, understand that I need to collect the document to so I add it to my table so if I update the table column I 
and I go to database, I can see this column is added right now and it's empty for previous uh, employees. And this is for others, okay? And so I need to add the data for previous employees as well. I will see this again, okay? So uh, right now I want to delete it and if I update that table again, I will see this uh, table is empty right now. Okay, so for Arash, I submit the data as well. Let's add someone else again. Uh, for example, number 70, it's Yasama. And it's two, two, two. I submit the data. For, for example, Alex. It's three 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 and it's eighty submit data and if I go to database I can see all these data are added so uh, right now I want to up uh, Armin comes to me and say okay this is my medical uh, copy of my medical documents I need to update the Armin data. These are, this is two things I can do. I can come here and search for Armin in my database and I update the database directly. Or I can say, okay, Armin, what is your personal number? And he says 50. And I insert the personal number here. I retrieve the data. I can see the data of Armin. And this is yes. And he. the document updated and uploaded for example I place the note for him and I have not to submit new data if I submit the personal number is already exist okay I need to update data so if I update the data and if I go to database okay I can see yes the document updated and uploaded and for example, Arash came and said, uh, okay, this is my copy of medical document as well. I need to update the Arash. Uh, I can go to database directly and search for Arash because it's just Excel. And, or I say, okay, Arash, what is your personal number, uh, personal ID or number? And he said, oh, I, I, I forgot my personal ID. So would you please uh, uh, tell me your ID number? Everyone knows his ID number because they, uh, everyone has the card of ID. So he said, okay, it's, for example, 1111 uh, is my ID number. But if I update, retrieve data right now, I see it's changed to Armin as well because uh, in this Excel, we search firstly by personal number. And if the personal number does not exist, or is not valid, we will uh, search for ID number. So if you want to search based on the ID number, you have to remove or clear the this cell. And right now you can go and enter the ID number, and now you can retrieve the data. So you can see the RH data. But if you place has the data here already, uh, you cannot find the RH. So whenever you want to search based on ID number, you have to clear this cell. Now uh, it's yes. And I can say, for example, it's uploaded. And I can update the data. I, ha I can remove the data. For example, uh, I misplaced something. I can update the data or I can remove someone someone goes out from my company and I give all the data to him or for example in most cases organization do not uh, delete the per employees data uh, we can add something here uh, for example employee status okay is he already working for us or not for example working okay and description is he is already working okay or i can remove the description but 
I add the data here. I add the title, new title, new uh, document here. I need to update the database. Okay, whenever you add something here, you need to update the table. So if I update the table, we will see these two columns added and it's empty for everyone. If I update the Arash, I can see the data will add it for Arash, just for Arash, but what, what for other person? I need to add them as well. For example, for Armin, I need to go and retrieve his data and say, yes, he's working, for example, and update the data. But this is a little hard for everyone. I come here and uh, search for his personal number. This is better for come here and filter the blanks. And now I can see the blanks and I can update all the person without any search. I can come here and hide them. Okay. And easily update. Yeah, something is not working for with us right now. So not working. She fired. And Alex not working, for example. He leave. Okay, and now I can clear the filter and I can clear the heights. So I can really easily manage the person. For example, I want to see which person did not yet give me the copy of the medical document. I can come here and filter it to the no, sorry. And see, okay. These two person, Yasaman and Alex, yet not uh, send me any uh, medical document. I can send them an email or call them to say, hey Yasi, please send me your medical document. I need it, or Alex, please send me that, okay? And this is really helpful for managing the personal documents. Uh, I told you you can back up, uh, get back up from your database. If you press this button, you will see the dialog box. Uh, you can select, for example, desktop and say OK. And save a copy, save a copy of my Excel into my desktop, into the folder I selected. And this is the based on the date 2080101. This is today. And if I open this Excel, I can see that my database is uh, saved into the another Excel easily and right now I can get back to my Excel. If I want to remove all information, I can now, I, because I have the backup, it's okay. I can remove all the information. I can clear the form. And if you clear the form, you can see all data is deleted and I can add the new data to this Excel easily. And uh, this Excel is, it's layout is uh, right now based on having header or seeing the header. If it's hard for you, you can change it to see the Excel, something like this, if it's uh, much better for you for working. Thanks for listening to me. I wish this Excel helped you a lot. And uh, goodbye.